Okay, here's the fifth example of solving for three variable system of equations. Now, looking at these three equations, all of, all of them are already in standard form, so I'm good to go. Now, there's an optional step in this system, and that optional step has something to do with the B equations. Because if we look at the coefficients negative 6, that goes with the y, plus 2 going with the z, equal to 24, well, the coefficients negative 6 and plus 2 tells me that positive 2 here is a multiplicative factor of itself and of negative 6. So I can just go ahead and factor it out and make my B equation a little easier to deal with later on. But again, you know, it's an optional step, so you guys don't have to do it unless it's uh, more com uh, comfortable for you. But if you don't want to do it, then you guys can just go ahead and divide both sides by 5 in the C equation to solve for Z and then... You know, as in um, the fourth example, you just take the z, take the uh, z value, plug it back into the b equation to solve for y, and then take the z and the y, plug it into the a equation to solve for the leftover x. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do the optional step of factoring out the positive two in the b equation. So, what is that one gonna uh, lead me to? Well, that's gonna give me positive two multiply the leftover of negative 3y plus z and they equal to 24. Now if I divide both sides by 2, my new b equation now is going to be negative 3y plus z equal to positive 12. So this is my b equations right here. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to do with the c equations, okay? So I can do that if I take this equation here, right down here so that's easier to see. And then I divide both sides by 5 to solve for z. That means I'm going to get z equal to positive 3. Well, with z equal 3 and with the b equation here, that tells me that if I take z equal 3, replace replace this z with positive 3, I get to solve for y easily. So, what is that going to give me? Well, I'm going to get negative 3y plus 3 equal positive 12, and then subtract 3 to both sides. I'm left with minus 3y equal to positive 9. Divide both sides by negative 3, I got y equal to negative 3. With z being 3 and y being negative 3, take these two values and plug it back into the a equation to solve for the leftover x. So that means what? For my a equations, I'm going to have 7. Yeah. I'm going to have 7 times x plus 3 times y. But y is negative 3, so I have 3 times negative 3. And then minus 3 times z, but z is positive 3, so I get 3 times, I mean minus 3 times 4. No, I mean minus 3 times 3. Ay, ay, ay. And then equal to negative 4. All right, good, good, good. We're good, we're good. Well, let's do some mental math. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus negative 9 is going to be negative 18. So I got 7x minus 18 equal to 4. Add 18 to both sides. I got 7x equal positive 14. Now divide both sides by 7. So x can be by itself. I got x equal to positive 2. So the solution of this system is 2, negative 3, 3.